Okay, so someone just cancelled on you last minute or just didn't turn up for their session. Now what? What do you do now? So if you're a personal trainer, you've been personal training for any period of time, you must have experienced this feeling multiple times of, you know, clients not turning up. Uh, maybe they cancel on you, um, you know, they're ill, they can't make it, they've got to stay in a meeting, their child is ill, or so whatever reason, they can't make it to the gym. They haven't woke up on time, they woke up feeling rough. What do you do? You've got now this extra, you know, unplanned hour in your day, half an hour, whatever your session time is. What do you do? Now, I've told, now I can tell you about two different ways of handling the situation. So, um, so essentially, um, there's been times before, you know, when my attitude was not right and I'd use this time and I'd hide, I'd hide, hide in the staff room or I'd hide in my car and just leave the gym. I just didn't want to be in there. And this was absolutely ridiculous thinking, thinking back because, you know, essentially the gym is where the money is made. Where was I going? Where, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Um, but basically I just, you know, number one, I think my ego got to a stage where I didn't even want to look like I wasn't busy. Like if I didn't have a client, I didn't want to be seen because I didn't want to look like I had no clients. I mean, all your other colleagues are training and looking busy and there's you there, you know, looking like a plum, looking like, you know, no one's interested, looking like you've got nothing to offer. And I hated that feeling. So, you know, I would just hide and I'd just get out of there. And, you know, and, you know, it's something I still see to this day. No, I don't, I mean, I've, I've, I've changed this now, you know, and this is obviously why I'm doing this video. So, you know, when you have a free time or a slot that's opened up, you know, essentially, you know, this is marketing time, paid marketing time, because if, there, if someone's kind to the last minute, then you should be charging them for their session. You know, um, I've done, I've done the whole taking the advice from, you know, you know, there's some good guys that lift the bar. Don't get me wrong, but the, the one piece of advice which I really regret listening to was I'm not going to name his name, but he said something about he never charges his clients who who are sick, never. And I've done this for ages, and at the end, I wanted to just. My hair was, I was pulling my hair out. I wanted to leave the job. I felt like people were just taking the absolute mick, like proper, like violating and abusing this rule that I had for myself, you know, um, because I was listening to the advice of others and really regretted it. And, you know, and sometimes you think, ah, oh, you know, but on the good side, I mean, at the time I had that, I was making more money than I've ever made, you know, crazy enough. But, you know, when you have someone who's cancelling day after day, oh, I'm going to come tomorrow. An hour before the session, no, I'm not, I'm not making it. The day after that, you know, I've had people like that. It's crazy. And because I was following this rule by this expert, this person I was listening to, you know, messed me up hardcore. Anyway, um, just mentally, you, and, you, and, and when one client treats you like that, you start looking at all your other clients like that. And before, and before I knew it, you know, I had a completely terrible attitude. I just, you know, you know, it was like um, zero tolerance and my clients left. Like a lot of clients did leave because of that attitude. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I digress. But yeah, you should be, you know, just for the sake of your sanity and respect to your business, you know, you need to charge for these last minute cancellations. Um, you know, generally my rule is, you know, 24 hours. Um, I will allow, um, I will allow, yeah, 24 hours. That's the rule, you know, the day before, you know, if you're texting me at 11 a.m., Sorry, 11 p.m. saying you're not going to make it to your 7 a.m. session, then I'm going to have to charge you, you know, essentially. And maybe I'll have leeway, you know, 20 hours is fine, but, you know, essentially, you know, and, and the mistake you shouldn't do, I need to do a separate video completely because I'm proper digressing, but just while I'm at it, don't address the issue straight away, yeah? Don't make it confrontational. If someone says they can't make it, say, okay, like if they're ill, for example, say, sorry to hear you're not feeling well, see you so and so, you know, that's it, see you next time. If they ask to reschedule, yeah, it's fine, I'll see you next time. You know, but what does reschedule mean? You know, we're gonna, instead of seeing you today, I'm gonna see you at the next session. That's rescheduling, essentially. And then obviously, mark it off. If they turn around and ask you the question, which they probably, it's never happened to me, or maybe happened to me once or twice, then you explain the situation. But, you know, you don't wanna have the, because before, I would be like, I send them a pre, pre, pre set up text that, you know, uh, I need 24 hours notice, so I'm gonna have to count this, unfortunately. Um, if you can make it, like something like if you can make it, we can discuss your nutrition or something like that instead of exercise. And it would get people's back backs up. You know, I, I could tell people were getting a bit tense, and you know, it was a bit of a confrontational situation. So, you know, uh, I actually learned this from one of the other guys in my gym. He just just marks it like it's fine, okay, just marks it off, and that's the best thing to do. So anyway, if someone cancels last minute, uh, this is they're paying you essentially for you to market and find another client. 
you know? Because if someone's flaking on you, you know, and it's re happening repeatedly, chances are that might not be a client for very much longer. So you need to start really planning in advance, looking for someone else. You know, essentially, you know, this is your time, you know, free slot, time to market. And if it's a busy time as well, there's going to be loads of new faces, loads of people around the gym that you haven't spoken to yet. You know, what I was doing before is I would just do a class straight away. Like if I had this, the opportunity come up, I would, you know, I wouldn't even look at the timetable in terms of is my name on the class or not. I would just do it. But, you know, it got to the stage where there was members. Well, not even members, actually people I knew in the gym. Not friends, but familiar faces who would be moaning and saying, oh, why, like, why is the person whose name was on it? They were looking forward to their class. Why am I doing it? And fair enough, put my hands up. But, you know, I got to the point where, you know, I didn't want to be that person that's always there. It's like, oh, this guy again doesn't have any clients. And that's probably ego, you know, because really and truly, the way I should be thinking about it is think about a person that's never met me before, that all of a sudden they're seeing me in the class, you know. But, you know, I still need to work on myself, obviously. But basically, you know, um, so I would have do that before and that was working wonders. That was working absolute wonders. But I slowed that down uh, to the point where I need my name on the class so people know what to expect. Because, you know, for example, let's say you've got a tough class and someone wants more of an easy ride, you know. All of a sudden you'll turn up to the class and, you know, just, just for goodwill, I don't know. But to be honest, you know, the way my attitude is now, I should probably just do the class anyway. If you got unhappy, you don't have to do the class, you can leave. Um, but obviously I want, you know, a good rapport with the managers and everyone. I don't want people complaining because, you know, if people start complaining that I'm teaching too many classes, then before you know it, you might not, I, know, I might not be able to do any classes like I like to. Obviously, the managers really appreciate me taking classes because, you know, essentially the staff are freed up and they should be doing stuff useful, like clean, like tidy up the gym, but I know they're probably just sitting in the staff room and check their phone anyway, but I'm not going to complain because, um, complaining is never good for business uh, which I will explain in another video uh, so anyway this is marketing time and you just got to be on it like hungry hungry like you know I think moments like this is what really determines whether you're hungry or not someone's just cancelled what are you going to do are you going to go on your phone watch YouTube watch Netflix you know or are you going to go hustle more find another client you know if you've got white space in your diary then you've got time for another client I'm telling you you're not fully booked if you've got space in your diary if you've got one of those dream diaries where you only want to work certain hours, then fair enough. Um, you know, but generally, you know, you just never know who's going to leave you. You never know if things happen. People lose their jobs. People move home. You just have to always be on the front foot. So anyway, so basically, I would, you know, long story short, I was that guy to go in the staff room, hide in the staff room, go to my car, watch something on YouTube, do work, you know, leave, leave the gym. But now cancellation time hustle time anyway hope you like this video if you want help in terms of getting more clients um making more money from your personal training business if you're paying rent then download my free book the low cost gmpt business success guide um link in the description please subscribe like this video if you've enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one